The global steel industry has been going through major changes since 1970. China has emerged as a major producer and consumer, as has India to a lesser extent. Consolidation has been rapid in Europe. Topic: <laughs> Growth of the industry. Global steel production grew enormously in the 20th century from a mere 28 million tons at the beginning of the century to 781 million tons at the end. Per capita steel consumption in the U.S. peaked in 1977, then fell by half before staging a modest recovery to levels well below the peak. <inaudible> World steel production in the 20th century Production of crude steel has risen at an astounding rate, reaching 1,691 meters tons by 2017. During the 20th century, the consumption of steel increased at an average annual rate of 3.3%. In 1900, the United States was producing 37% of the world's steel, but with post-war industrial development in Asia and centralized investment by China, by 2017 China alone accounted for 50%, with Europe including the former Soviet Union down to 24% and North America down to 6%. For details of country-wise steel production see steel production by country. Topic. Growth potential of the industry Amongst the other newly steel-producing countries, South Korea produces in 2017 71 million tons, nearly double Germany, and Brazil 34 million tons, all three countries little changed since 2011. Indian production in 2017 production is just over 100 million tons, up substantially from 70 in 2011 compared to only 1 million ton at the time of its independence in 1947. By 1991, when the economy was opened up steel production grew to around 14 million tons. Thereafter, it doubled in the next 10 years, and then it is doubling again, maybe over a slightly longer span. The world steel industry flattened from 2007 to 2009 at 1,300 million tons, before rising again, due to worldwide recession starting in 2008, with its heavy cutbacks in construction, sharply lowered demand and prices falling 40%. Showing the impact of that plateau, in 2007 Tussenkrupp spent $12 billion to build the two most modern mills in the world, in Alabama and Brazil. They lost $11 billion on the new plants, which sold steel below the cost of production. Finally in 2013, the plants were sold at under $4 billion. Topic. Reduction in workforce A modern steel plant employs very few people per tonne, compared to the past. In South Korea, POSCO employs 29,648 people to produce 28 million tonnes. During the period 1974 to 1999, the steel industry had drastically reduced employment all around the world. In USA, it was down from 521,000 to 153,000. In Japan, from 459,000 to 208,000, Germany from 232,000 to 78,000, UK from 197,000 to 31,000, Brazil from 118,000 to 59,000, South Africa from 100,000 to 54,000. South Korea already had a low figure. It was only 58,000 in 1999. The steel industry had reduced its employment around the world by more than 1,500,000 in 25 years. Topic. See also Steel production by country Steel industry in China Iron and steel industry in India Iron and steel industry in the United States American Iron and Steel Institute British Steel Corporation Dominion Steel and Coal Corporation, in Canada European Coal and Steel Community Steelmaking <laughs>